Yo, it's DJ Fresh Direct here with Wink Sound. I wanna go through three apps that make exporting, conversion, testing, and file transfer workflow a whole bunch easier. I'm gonna start by opening up my Ableton session and bouncing a segment of my song right here. And you can see that that just bounced as a wave to my desktop. And most people don't like receiving waves as attachments because they're big, they take a longer time to download, and they take a longer time to stream. So the first step is going to be to open XLD over here. In my preferences on XLD, you can see I have it set to export as a 320k MP3. So I don't really have to think about that app once that's set. I'm just gonna drag my wave onto the icon. It's gonna show me the progress. And now I have an MP3 that is the same file that the wave was just converted. And it put it in the same folder that the source file is and the same title. So now I can scrap that wave. The second thing I wanna do is test that file, make sure I bounce it from the right points, make sure everything went well with the conversion. And instead of opening iTunes, waiting for iTunes to open, which takes a long time if you've got a large library, it's gonna copy that file and create a duplicate of it, and then you're gonna fill up your library with a whole bunch of different bounces. I use this little app called Vox. One of the great things about Vox is that you can choose what audio interface you'd like to play your music through. So in preferences of Vox, I've chosen my Fast Track Pro, which is my third party audio interface, and importantly, what my studio monitors are plugged into, because I don't wanna listen on my laptop speakers. Once again, I don't have to think about Vox until I need it. I just drag the MP3 onto the icon. Oh. And you're getting a little preview of an Avicii mix that I'm working on here. Everything worked good with the conversion. I am now ready to send that file. The third app I'm gonna use is called Cloud, and that lives right here in the status bar too. But just by dragging this MP3 to the Cloud icon, it will automatically start uploading the file. You can see the progress up here. And right when that upload's done, I'm gonna get a little notification and a link to that file has automatically been copied to my clipboard. So now I can go into my browser, paste that link, and the person you send this link to will get a little download page for the MP3 that you just exported, converted, tested, and uploaded. In the cloud app here, I can see history of all the files I've uploaded, including a beat I just sent to an artist, and it'll show you how many times it's been viewed. So, uh, all three of these together is a very useful tool and it simplifies the export, conversion, testing, and upload process to about a minute when you need to. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 